Hey everyone, welcome to Mom Plays. I am Mom. Hello. We are in Fallout 4 again for another settlement build that I did, and we are at the lovely Green Top Nursery. And uh, so here's Green Top Nursery. It is next to the Old Gullet Sinkhole, Breakheart Banks, uh, Vault 75, MedTech and listening pro bravo so it's kind of like in the middle of all of this there's mass fusion containment shed is also there uh so i guess uh, let's get started so this one caused me a lot of trouble but i'm pretty happy with it uh hey what's up you all say that all right so first you come in and you get a kind of a look. It's an oblong shaped uh, settlement area. It starts with the house, goes down just past the. You guys are retarded. Look at these guys. Retarded. They do not like these new doors. Anyway, um, it goes just past the greenhouse there, and then it's about this wide to the side. So it's kind of a rectangle shape. So I did what I normally do. I put a guard post right out front because you gotta you gotta vet everybody going in, right? You gotta be like, are you gonna come in here and massacre us? No? Okay, you can come in. And they've got their little sitting bench and I don't know, I just threw up a statue because I felt like I'd ever use statues, so there you go. Um when you come here, this is the original house. Got the original cook fire that was here and um yeah. threw down Whoa, you're a little close to me, woman. Personal space, I tell you, personal space. <clears throat> um, and then, of course, the traders uh, post here. There's not a lot of space to put it in. Wow. And, f you know, there's a lot of hills, so it's really hard to figure out where to put that if you build back here. You kind of have to squeeze it in where you can. Um, so when you first get here, like, there's the house, and it's full of shit, and... Um, the two people have mattresses in here and they're just sleeping in here and you know trying to eke a living out of that greenhouse so <clears throat> i basically i took them out of here wow that box is my electrical box and it's definitely very noisy um, but i put a kitchen here because i couldn't think of anything else to do with the space and i thought you know i don't do things like kitchens and stuff in my settlement so I made it into a nice little kitchen. It's got your shelving to store foodstuffs. You got uh, your prep table and your cook stove and a little table, which are you eating breakfast? Good. Get back to work. Excuse me, Cosworth. I mean, really? Excuse me. And then um, I took the, I glitched a door into here with the uh, fence glitch, which I love because then it allows you to put doors and things. But I took the original house and what I was doing, first off, to the roads. get out of my house. That didn't work for me. I said, get out of my house, not get in my house. Um, basically, you know, when I first, like <sighs> every settlement, you know, you get in there and all you think about is putting up walls and uh, giving everybody a place to sleep under a roof because if you put beds out and you don't put them under roofs, um, your happiness goes down drastically. Like I've I've put beds outside during builds and had my happiness decrease while I'm doing my build before I could get the beds back in. So anyway, um, I actually just decided that most of the people were gonna stay in here. So I made this into one big bedroom and <clears throat> going with the new updates, Todd Howard picture. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. That is what all the settlers do. When they go to bed, they come in here, they bow to the picture of Todd Howard, and then they go to sleep. Yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, so there's a you know, bed chamber here. There's a bed chamber here. I guess this used to be the laundry room or something, but I made it into a bed area. Um, pretty good lately. I know they have. They're, they're great crops. Uh, you know, instead of, because I did this way before, um, I knew about glitching walls into things. Uh, so to block off this wall, I put a couple Minutemen flags so you can't see in and peeping Tom on my people, perverts. 
Um, and then, of course, the last bed area right here. And then, of and then there's a behind this wall. There's the bathroom, which I love my bathroom now. So I gave him a bathtub, kept the toilet. Excuse me. Gave him a couple of pretty puppy pictures and stuff. And then with the new, um, with the new update, I called this place the salon. So you can sit here and we'll cut your hair on the john. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty much what I did with the get out of my house get out before she blocks me in the doorway okay so that's pretty much what I did with the um, you know with the house at one point I had a really tall um, guard post here so I got up on the roof and uh, put up a bunch of turrets on top of the roof pointing that direction I, I get attacked by insects from that direction a lot and I get attacked by super mutants from that direction and gunners and raiders from that direction so you know so then I have the greenhouse, so we'll go into the greenhouse. And I got Dog Meat's little dog house here, because when I have him with me, he needs a place to stay. Um, and these are new doors, and I know they say that they're metal doors in the, in the update, but uh, I call them screen doors, and therefore my greenhouse has screen doors. So that made me happy. The only thing that didn't make me happy is I couldn't get this one to glitch in flush with the ground but I just finally I, I mean I literally screwed with it for like 20 minutes before I was like okay fuck you um, so when you come in here originally I had all of my um, traders in my bar in here because I couldn't think of what else to do with it so uh, but then I took them out and I made this kind of my workspace gotta have your workspace because why not in the greenhouse I've got plenty of plants so they don't take up that's all the room they take up is over here so uh, I turn this. Really wish you guys would stop walking around up on the roof. Um, and I really wish you could push people off of roofs and stuff, but you can't. Anyway, so here is our power armor station and our armor and weapons workbenches. And uh, scavenge station. You need to get to work, woman. Scavenge. Scavenge. I said scavenge. All right. Anyway, I should just massacre all of them because they're being so stupid. Um... And then we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, at the, I got all my water pumps. Now, it was really funny because they're facing the wall, but they wouldn't line up next to each other like this unless I turned them towards the wall. I don't know why. The, sometimes the, um, the logic of the building is so weird. Just so damn weird. Um, but anyway, so I kept these doors open and I put a guard post on each of them so my guards can walk up here although <clears throat> there's one guard standing on the roof I guess that works and there's the other guard standing on the roof so um, they didn't start doing that until the new update truly really annoys me anyway so they get to look out here um, and you know they can't cross this but I can so this is a good place for me to come if we get attacked from here and then of course my other guard post here you know, if you got down into the guard post you belonged in, maybe your fingernails would be cleaner. All right. Um, and then I <clears throat> decided, because I don't didn't have a lot of room, and I decided this was a build out and not up type uh, settlement, that uh, I would put my chem dealer in here. Might as well, right? Because then he'll have access to the plants to make chems. So my chem guy is here. I see he's got his little drug sign, which is new. And uh, he's got a couple steps up. It's not a full clinic. This place can't afford it. So you can sit here, get your chems. He's got his station to make his chems. He's got his lockup safe and his cooler. Yeah. So that's that. Moving on. And then if you come up here, I, <clears throat> the original idea for the rest of this was I wanted to enclose the greenhouse area in walls that people could live in. Only, only a few people live in it, and I'm pretending like it's the guards, even though it's like other people. So if you come into this wall, because I was thinking, you know, for some reason I was thinking castles, and a lot of times they would build castles and they would actually make the walls hollow and you would live in the walls of the castle, in the fortification. And I was thinking of that. 
but didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Cosworth, you getting a drink? So you come in here and the first thing you have is your bar. So hello, got your ice chest, you got your bartender, wherever he is, I don't know where he is, and your beautiful decorations. If you work, you eat. Well, you guys aren't working, so I don't know what your problem is. You, you shouldn't be eating, you're not working. All right, let's close this for a second. So you got your bar. Um, normally this section would be closed off, see, restricted. And when you come in here, you have, wow. I feel like I have more people here than I should. What's going on? 20 people, 20 beds. Huh, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the first guard post and his little sleeping quarters and sitting quarters. So he can come out here. I do get attacked from this uh, direction a lot. And then a long hallway, you've got another little bed area here. Go. Place is run by a little lounge area and then a couple more beds down here at the end and these poor people have to put up with the fact that there are um, there are power generators in here and it probably keeps them up all night which is why they're walking on the ceiling I mean walking on the roof of the the, the uh, uh, greenhouse look bitch you gotta let me through you, you gotta go go uh, I am trying to do a tour and I think you should get out of my way I do I'm gonna shoot your ass well, I am here for you get out of my doorway or I will shoot your ass all right well let's do this no that's so not what I wanted to do I wanted to do this Ugh. all right <laughs> Well, since we're here, let's come back behind. Um, there's This side is not butt up against the greenhouse. Um, so I threw my Brahmin back here because then he won't wander all over the place and he stays back here without a fence. So I'm pretty good with that. And then because there's so many people living here, if you notice, I put in a restroom. If you got to pee and you're out here, although, you know, if you're not careful, somebody can spy on you, but we're going to be like Japan, you know, nakedness is seen, but never commented on. Anyway, and then I threw them up a little, you know, basketball hoop because they need to get their exercise. That's, that's pretty much what they need to do. All right. And then if you come to the other side, when you come in, you have your store first, which is nice and fleshed out with shelves, magazine racks, um, signs that say sale. And uh, stationery and books. We're going to pretend like they're on here. Uh, crates full of stuff to sell. And then a little sitting area if you want to come and shoot the breeze with the with the shopkeep. <laughs> that sounded old. My mom is old. Shopkeep. All right. And then, of course, you have another restricted area here, which is our second set of guard posts looking out this way. And I do, every once in a while, get attacked from here. It's usually like uh, one of those sting wings and stuff. Uh, I gave them a little place to sit and smoke. And this side has two guard posts on it. It just seemed right. And then um, over in this area, there's only one person that lives down here. And it is, you know, definitely a guard. He's got a police sign, you know, and his little bed. Nice long hallway, a, a la The Shining. I still haven't seen any twins, so that's good. Hey, look, it's the shopkeep. Yeah, go around. Why don't you go around? All right. Shutting that door on your jibber-jabber. All right, and then um, my wall. So if you come up here, you got a nice little deck you could sit out on and, and, and grill. And there are more and more people on the on the roof. You guys are retarded. Okay. Um, and then I've got looking forward my last guard post. A couple of machine gun and shotgun turrets. Now I got told by somebody that shotgun turrets are for close up. I like them. I like them a lot. I you know when they start going off, I'm just like 
they're so noisy and I love them. So I do put them even when I'm not uh, anticipating close up. And then of course, if you jump over here and run across my roof, you could see that for every guard post, this is a guard post under here. Uh, I've got a box with a turrets hanging off of it also. So you can see, and I've got it same thing on the other side over there. And then we're going to take one last look on the outside because I did something I hadn't done before that you will see in a build that I'm doing right now when I finally get done with it. But if you come to the outside and you come back here to the corners, yeah, that looks pretty snazzy. I took one of these little like cap end things and it's completely open and I made a little turret mount out of it. So it's attached and I've got a turret looking out over there and I've got a turret looking out on this side also. I don't know, I just thought it looked good and I'm going to try to incorporate that in a build that I'm doing right now to see uh, if I can make, I'm, I'm actually doing a build that I am going to be calling the castle. It's not the castle, it's just, it's a, a castle, but I'm trying to do more of a castle type build. We'll see how it goes with my limits and stuff. I don't know. It's using up a shit ton of resources right now. I can say that. Okay, so that is the build of Green Top Nursery. Why are you on that roof? Oh, you guys are so weird and glitchy now. All right, so that is Green Top Nursery. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Trees or on my blog at mywarpedworld.blogspot.com. And I will see you for another build next time.